Okay people, welcome back to um, this Let's Read Now. Unfortunately this is post-commentary what I'm doing here. It's not the actual commentary I did when I was recording. This is due to a mistake I did when I was recording it. And as a result of it, AV Games Audio came out. So, this is the first, first time doing post-commentary. So I'm from Ryder's house because it's close to the second dungeon and grabbing a heart because I need one. <laughs> now... I don't want to do I don't know if I'm wasting time, I can't remember the time. Uh in down here to um This is the way to the next dungeon. Now there is a piece of heart in this area, but I'm not gonna get it till much later. Doing while I'm doing the process of something else. Uh I just hope this audio keeps up to it because I'm trying to I've never done post commentary before. Oh, why did I have to have say this? I've listened to YouTube comments, I still haven't decided yet. Anyway, I want to come this way. And... There's a mystery, yeah, that's the place I want to go to, so this way. And you've got any under these, these rocks. Now, these rocks you can't pick up yet. This man will become important for sight later, but not yet. Much later, in fact. He's not going to do anything for you, but he'll do something for you later when you bring him something. Now here's a fairy fountain, I'm only missing one half a heart, so I don't know why the heck I decided to come in here. <laughs> oh well, heart filled to full. And now, I head south. Yeah, I did that in case the bird came back down after me. This is the desert, where the second dungeon is, you can see there's mines in the ground. Now these bolts just keep spinning around you. I, I just get unkill these even sword spin. On comes his KPS. So I actually forgot about this high piece of heart, but 900 red Yoshi kind of reminded me of it in this let's play. So I get a bomb here. Boom. Yes, yeah, so he tells you about broken the door. I don't know if he says something different before he gets it. In that chest is a piece of heart. And that's... Now well, I've got four pieces of heart, so I'm getting another heart. At the end of our health. Don't know why I've got bow and arrows out there, so I won't be using them. And there are Mr. Stairs. <laughs> so now for... Second dungeon is just to the west. So I hear it starting to... Towards now, while we're going through the desert, those strange desert things can pop out of the sand. They're very easy to kill. They'll keep spawning out of the sand. So there's little jumps in my corner, but I have to keep pressing this button every, t every 60 seconds. <sighs> Not the best recording program for just a voice, but there you go. Now here is the second dungeon, but oh dear, strange language. Now, do we have something that can translate that language? Yes, we do. This is what Book of Mid Midor is used for. If you see anything like that, use it, and it'll translate it. That's what it says. So, make a wish, and it here, and it will be granted. You sure? My wishes don't normally come true. In fact, they usually turn out to be the opposite. Oh well. I'll try. Yes, it does work. Oh, well, it's, it's nice how he knocked our entrance out. But wait, in we go. After the selected part, now it's going to go why. Okay, next dun second dungeon. Now these enemies pop out of the sand. They're quite easy to kill. So you just kill all four of them there with a swordsman. Now those enemies can't be killed, and they'll shoot laser at you if they spot you with their eye. How nice of them, as I'm demonstrating there. I find quite annoying though. Uh, just, 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 just,
you have to get up close to me to be with sword. So I do apologize if this suddenly just on jumps my sound coin if it doesn't kind of percent follow it. Oh, why did I do a stupid mistake now? I completely missed was shooting him with a sword there. Unfortunately, our attacks don't affect him if he's got his eyes closed and that one arrow just completely missing it, the torch. So I'll just give up to simply throw a pot at him. Press that switch, of oh, course, that chest appearing inside it is a map. That's like that. that. So I'll show you the map there. to the top left, I didn't, I completely forgot which one, <laughs> where I'm supposed to go next, instead I go through the top right here, now, when I kill these enemies I think, kill them both at once, love swords a bit, now this one is a kind of a trap, it's, yeah, the purple ones have more health than the green, I think they also move faster, I love sort of spin. You see me use it a lot. Actually, to be honest, I'm actually using it more in this let's play than normal. <laughs> now I'm going to use bottom right. This bottom right room is pretty useless. That's why I just quickly exit and exit straight away. There's an exit out there, but it's completely useless. It's kind of comes out right. It's probably going to look sound completely weird, but uh, there you go. It's my own fault for being this silly, Billy. He's going that room on the right there, but it had a locked door on it. We don't have a key yet. I just realised where the key is, so I'm going for speed up along to it. This is up here. Now notice the key's on, on something, so it means we need to dash the beat down, as I'm doing. Now I can enter the locked room, which is where I'm heading to now after I kill these guys. Right. Damn, I've got 17 minutes of position. Uh, sigh. Yeah, you kill the enemies in this room, you obviously you can't kill the, the statue thing that fires out. Oh, so there's a little jump there in the field of coins, so I completely forgot this, this is the spot. What happened there was basically my mum into the room. So that's why I cut there. There's a little scene mistake there. Some people like dashing through that, some people just go slowly. Me, I do a bit of both here. I dash and get hit, but then I say you're not going to get hit. So now I hit to the top left. This is where I need to go next. Now in here, there's different items in different parts. Now I switch to the top left. Well, I completely forgot about that at the time. I think. Yay. Yes, ladies, it will help if you stop trying to shoot at me. Now there's a big chest in this in this dungeon and in it is a power glove. Now using that power glove, now there's little green stones that we can see before. Well now we can actually pick them up. Not the dark green ones, just the light green ones. So that's everything we need in this part. 
because this isn't the whole of the dungeon. Right, so now we're going to leave this part of the dungeon. There's nothing more to do here. So the only way to get out of this dungeon to be able to continue is if you go out the bottom left. Now I've just now I've just put a bit of recording onto my video so far. So I've done that's spoken so far. It's a bit quiet in my voice, so I'll put up volume bits. We're making this bit on. At least it's working what I'm planning. Yeah, I'm going to leave out the bottom left. Let's just grab the ferry in that room there. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I want to leave out the left entrance. One, because it's the only way to get to the back. And the other reason is because there's a piece of art down here. Don't know why that fault just floats in mid-air, but there you go. That power graph now just lift these stones here, as I said. I think. Don't know that bit got recorded, but now in this part, you do not get shot by these. You can say push up block. Now in this room, and pausing it here, I was, I was explaining, but I decided to do that. Now in the composition I'm at, now what the hell actually what will happen is if the floorboards suddenly come out and start trying to chase after you. Try and hit you. Now, if you stand out over the door, you're completely where I am. You're completely safe from them. But one, but I don't like doing that. Instead, I'm going to just either hit or try and dodge them. <laughs> Which that man, I'm completely failing to do is face the wrong direction when swinging my swords. But I find this much more challenging, much more fun than just stand that door waiting for them all to finish. And what you actually want to do is grab the key that's in one of the pots. So I don't... Which is there. Now once... That's the last floor... Pattern, floor... Floor there. That's what... They always make that kind of pa pattern. I think, you know, every time I face on... I can't remember if they make any other patterns. We're going to come up this way next. Again, kill the little s s spine or whatever <laughs> those little vine like things are. But they're anyway, they're, they're easy to kill anyway. Now, in this room, you want to there's a key in one of the parts. I, now, part of me thought that yeah, actually is like all the torches in this room, but apparently it's not true, as I'm, we'll find out soon. Now here I'm just comp I completely fail at dodging lasers, as <laughs> you're about to see. <laughs> Let's see I'm not I don't know how that guy got me there. Unfortunately, <laughs> I had a fairy on me. No, as I, as I said, I, I thought I just need to light all the torches in the room. <laughs> so that's what you see me do now. And then I realised that's not the case, you just need to open the door and leave. Now, yet again, we've got one of these floor... Um, rooms where floor powers try to attack you. And again, I don't like the idea of just standing by the door like a coward, so... Turn this one around. I, I think some let's players just, just stand by the door and let them all pass. E.g. Um, 900 Red Yoshi is the only <laughs> let's play I've seen do this. But I like standing out front here. I like standing out. It's a bit more of a challenge. It makes it a bit more fun. That symbol there means that we're approaching the boss. And it's just desperate, if not this part, it's desperately looking for hearts. Just gonna kill that enemy. And now light. Now this time I've got to light the torches up. to the boss. But I know it's probably most useful item here, but it's, I don't use it for this boss. Now there's three of them, and they'll pop up those holes. When they pop out, you see them fire a bit, stone in four directions. So be careful, be, be careful when they pop out, 
and keep an eye on them. But if you're to the side or below them, then you'll find them quite easily. Boy, those rocks quite easily. Then all you need to do is avoid being hit by them. Like that. You can see, I'm just mainly just using my sword spin to get them. So I'm going to get more than one of them, and it also does more damage. Not really much more to say, I've basically said all I had to say. They're not too hard, as long as you know what you're doing. First couple of bosses in the game aren't, really aren't that hard. Well, the next one is. <laughs> Those that play the game will know this game will know who the next boss is, and the next boss is. There's a lot. It's much. That shows more difficulty, and that one's gone, there's two left. Alright, uh, what else can I say? Is no, the second one in my I've only got one left. Unfortunately, it's not KC, so I just saw the third one quite quickly. But to get a car clean, what the last one will do, is instead, of four, instead of four stones, it'll spit out eight when it pops out. So, <laughs> but it didn't get so because the last one dried too quickly. I'll use the one more hit. But anyway, it's the second pendant there. And now I'm about to stop video. So, I, once again, I do apologise this, for this post commentary, but um, I was a silly bee. But anyway, when we come back, I'll start heading towards the third pendant, which is up there. And we'll be our continue of the game. And so, until then, bye bye.